We are excited to debut a new series tonight. Fox 6 is partnering with the Milwaukee Times to bring you Community Connection. It shines a light on the positives happening in and around Milwaukee. Programs and people devoting their time and their talents to their neighborhoods, taking a positive impact on their community and those around them. Pastor Robert Bell certainly is doing that. At 45 years old, his life has been full of ups and downs and everything in between. But now, well now, He's right where he wants to be. When Reverend Robert Bell stands in front of his congregation on Milwaukee's northwest side, oh God, we thank you today. it's clear the spirit is moving him. He's got a message. God is always watching over us. But the preacher also has a backstory that's far from pristine. I ended up joining the gang at an early age. I was probably around 14 and they all knew that I was just this innocent kid. I didn't even fit in, and they knew it. One night I went out with them. They was going out to do a robbery, and I went with them. Bell got away with it, or so he thought. They came the next morning, opened up the door, the police everywhere, and I ended up uh, going to Ethan Allen School, which is Wells. It was a juvenile detention center. When he got out, it was much of the same. I just got deeper in the game. I started drinking more, going to parties. And at an early age, like 15, 16 years old, I was an alcoholic. There was nobody to notice, nobody to help. Not even his mom and stepdad, who at the time had problems of their own. A lot of physical abuse went on with my parents, a lot of alcoholism. I never met my biological father and that hurted me a lot. That hurt led to more anger, more aggression, more run-ins with the law, more time behind bars. Man, we was out of control. Over. I didn't see no way out. And over again. How many times did you go to prison? I can't even count. So how did this innocent kid end up with all that? They be in shock. Bell showed us where his story started, here in the neighborhood where he grew up. This is where he used to go get liquor. That was, that's one of the spots. One of the spots. Yeah, they started selling liquor because we drunk a lot. You know, we used to go to sleep with guns, man, because, we, you know, we was always into it with somebody. Somebody was hating. So you slept with a gun in your hand? Yeah, we always slept with guns, in, you know, in the house. In a time where things felt hopeless. I was stuck. I didn't see no way out. I thought that I was going to die this way. There was a glimmer, Block a party. sign he could fun, flip man. the script. It was a gospel channel on. It was like this man preaching and stuff. I felt this burning sensation in my heart. I put the cigarette down and the beer down and I went like this. I put my hands in the air and I was like, I said, Father, I hear you speaking to me. I said, but I don't see no way out. I never saw a way out. I needed your help. That simple channel surfing led him to Milwaukee's District School of Ministry. Five years later, he became an ordained minister with a passionate purpose. The young men in the city decided to put God first and we give them something to do. Come on. That's why you'll find Pastor Bell here every Wednesday during Life Church's youth program. You just can't let them slide. They can't learn like that. An opportunity to keep kids off the streets and feeling positive. Thanks for coming. And empowered to fulfill their dreams. Everybody bow your heads. Father, we just want to say thank you. Faith keeps Bell grounded. Amen. Hope Amen. moves him forward. I never want to go back to that person. Two, three. If I do go back, it's just to help somebody. What's up? I believe that when we decide to put God first in our lives, things change. Pastor Bell is one of many clergy members working with police and the Office of Violence Prevention to help prevent crimes in communities plagued by violence. Community Connection is a partnership of Fox 6 and the Milwaukee Times, and we look forward to bringing you more stories just like that in the coming months. I, I know this from coaching kids that sometimes they look at an adult and go, what do you know? You were at that event where they were playing hoops and playing games. Does he have instant credibility with him? Do they know his past? They don't, but okay. they can sense that he is familiar with the neighborhood. He knows them. There is a way that he connected with. Yeah. You could just tell everybody that you talked to, all those kids were like, he's a great pastor, but he's just a great leader. They show up to mm -hmm. see him, yeah. and this gives them something every Wednesday night from 6.30 to 8 to do something, and they do a lot there. And it was, I can't tell you it was like being there. Yeah. I, I wanted to do a little jump shot myself. Yeah, he, he <laughs> walks the walk. I've yes. had the honor of talking to him on the phone once or twice. 
twice, and yes. he walks the walk. He does. It was Good an job. honor to meet him. I look him. forward to seeing more of these stories.